Hello, in this video we will discuss how to configure different type of devices in Cisco Packet Tracer. So let me start with the computer. So if you want to configure this particular computer, click on it. Click on IP configuration. So you can type the IP address you want to specify to this computer. I'm using 192.168.1.10. So if I press tab, it will automatically assign the subnet mask as IP address belongs to class C subnet mask is slash 24. Now default gateway. Please remember this thing. Default gateway is always IP address of router 192.168.1.1. So then you have to specify the DNS server. So DNS is basically domain name server. Whenever your computer want to resolve any URL. For example, your computer want to go to www.google.com. So in that case, to get the address of www.google.com, a DNS service server is used. So in this case, our DNS server is 8.8.8.8. .8 so now end user is done. Let's move to second device. This device is switch. So you just have to click on it. You have to go to CLI. Now just press enter and you will get the CLI of switch. So this is our enable mode. When you press here a command enable, you will enter into privilege mode. So this is privilege mode. So what is the difference in enable mode and privilege mode? In enable mode, by default, your privilege is one. But in privilege mode, by default, your privilege is 15. So 15 privilege is far more than privilege level 1. Or you can say in terms of access or I should say in terms of the configuration, the commands you can run on the device will differ a lot. So if you are in enable mode, you will be able to run show commands, but very less show commands. But if you are in privilege mode, you can run all the show commands. And here is the gate. I'm again saying here is the gate to enter into the configuration mode where you can configure the switch. So every configuration related to the switch, related to spanning tree, VLAN trunking protocol, dynamic trunking protocol, related to SVI, interfaces, banners, time, clock, NTP, syslog, SNMP, everything is done at this level. So privilege mode will open gates for configuration mode. Now, if you want to go back to your privilege mode, you have to press exit. So here I cannot do any configuration. I can just run show commands like show IP interface brief. So this command will show me brief options for the interfaces like what is my interface number? Do I have any IP address assigned to it? What is the status? What is the protocol? Everything it will show. Now if I run the command show interface status. So this command is basically not available on packet tracer, but you can run it on actual switch. So I can run show run. So by this we can check the running configuration of switch what is currently configured on the switch. I can also run the command show startup configuration. Startup configuration means saved configuration on switch. As it is a new switch there, will, there is no saved configuration. So it is showing startup config not present. Now I can also run show clock to check what is the time. So you can check the current time. So if you want to change the time, you can change. Now let's move to global configuration mode. So the first thing that will we will learn it is how to configure host name. So to configure the host name, you have to configure the command host name. After that, you can specify the host name you want to configure. So I configured the name switch one underscore nb. Now you can also learn how to configure banner. Let's say I want to configure a banner. MOPB stands for message of the day banner. So whenever anyone tries to log in into the box, he will get this banner. 
so let's say my banner is welcome to nb so in this case we have to use as you can see here c as a delimiting character so my banner text should should be between c's so i would write it as c welcome to nb so this is how you will specify the banner so we call c a delimiting character so if you want to save the configuration you can write here copy running config into startup config now the current configuration that you have done will be saved in a file called startup config or you can simply run a command right this is a shortcut command for the for the above command so if you will check now show startup configuration so you can see in startup configuration i have a host name and you can also see i have a banner next if i exit from privilege mode i will exit from the router itself now if i press enter you can see here i am getting a banner welcome to nb and i am getting into enable mode so if i press here enable i will go to privilege now the question is what if i have to go from privilege mode to enable mode so we have run here a command that is disable with the help of this command you will move directly to uh, enable mode but if you will type here exit you will log out from the router as i have shown you earlier now we have to type here a command enable after that configure space terminal to get into configuration so guys these are the basic configurations that you have to understand on switch now let's move to router now when you click on router you will get this tab now you have to press here no So no simply means I want to configure the router in my way. I don't want router to ask me a set of questions by which it will configure the router. So I will type here enable. So you can see this is again the same. This is enable mode. So the modes on the switch and router are exactly the same, and command line is also pretty similar. So if you want to go to privilege mode, you can type here enable. In privilege mode, you can type the command configure space terminal to get into global configuration mode in a similar way you will go back exit and disable now let's say you want to set time on the router first of all run the command show clock what is the time so clock configuration is something which you can do in what should i say in privilege mode also clock set so what is the time let's say it is 10 10 10 sorry so it is 10 hours 10 minutes and 10 seconds and for example it is 10th of october 2010 everything is 10 so you can see time is updated Previ previous time was of 1993 now it is of 2010 now let's go to configure space terminal it means i am in configuration mode let's say i want to set the host name so you will use the command host name after that you will specify host name r1 underscore nb so this is host name of my router now let's say in this case also you want to set a banner so command is banner space motd c is my delimiting character Welcome to NB. So if I exit from here, if I exit again, I am able to see the banner. So if this is enable mode again. I will type the command enable. I will run the command copy running configuration into start. So the same concept is here. By default, everything you are doing on router is saved in running configuration. So if you want that particular change to be permanent so you have to run the command copy running into startup because startup means whenever your router will boot up it will load the startup configuration so if you have any changes left in the running configuration that will be erased configure space terminal again 
So in this case, we will also understand how you will assign IP address to interface of router. So command is pretty simple. You have to type your interface. After that, the number. Sorry, the type and then the number. Now you will specify the IP IP address. IP address is 192.168.1.1. I already made you clear the gateway you are specifying on the user will be used as IP address of the router. After that, we have to specify the subnet mask. And the main thing is no shutdown. By default, interfaces of routers are in shutdown state, or you can say are administratively shut down. So we have to run the command no shutdown to change the status of the interface. So you can also see as I run the command no shutdown, this, this particular interface change state to up. And the line protocol on the interface is also up. Line protocol means that uh, what about the remote end? Fine, you have you have a turn on the interface from your your side. It means state. So let me show you. If I run the command, show IP interface brief. So you can see status. Status means from your end, an interface is shut or not, no shut. So there is a possibility that from your end, interface is no shut. But from the other end, interface is shut. So in that case, status would be up, but protocol would be down. So protocol means how about the remote end? Remote end is up or not? So you can see, see, this is the IP address we have specified on the interface of. So guys, in this video, we have seen how to configure devices, basic configuration and packet tracer. Thank you.